Two men were shot and killed in Viewfort Thursday evening, continuing the violence that has plagued the community. The victims are Thomas Louise, 66, a retired teacher, and Jimmy Emanuel, 44, a mentally challenged man who was standing nearby. Louise was shot on his balcony while Emmanuel was shot on the road. Loved ones of the beloved teacher, known affectionately as Holmes, said that he was enjoying his retirement and did not deserve to die in such a manner. Louise is adored by a generation of school students. Well, the feeling right now is not right because my husband did not deserve to die like that. My husband was in his balcony eating his little conflicts. And I don't know where the people come from, where they don't come from. They just spray my husband and my husband is dead. I want to say to these young men that is doing them kind of things to stop, refrain from these things because Christ is coming and he's coming to judge the world in righteousness. How you, he find you in your wicked ways, he will judge you in your wicked ways. Young men, young women, give your life to Christ because he is coming and he is coming again. People, stop the violence, stop the, this kind of activity. This is not right, my people, it's not right. The bloodshed is taking its toll in a town riven by the gun violence that has claimed numerous lives in just under six years. Innocent life have been losing. That is not the view for I knew. My people, stop it, please, and repent. Call upon the Almighty God. Don't allow the enemy to take control of your heart. Pray to God and ask him to deliver you all from his hands because he's trying his utmost best to see the amount of you all he can conquer to go with my people. So please, please stop it and turn to Christ before it's too late. Emmanuel's family member described him as a helpful individual who was always kind to others. Jimmy was an, a very joyful person. Um, a very helpful person to his family and others in the community. He was somebody who always spread kind words to everybody he meets on the road, um, telling them they're beautiful, they're nice, um, they're strong. He wouldn't hesitate to help anybody in need. If you had something to do, he would help you do it um, in exchange for a little payment. Yeah. Um, despite of yeah, he was a little um, mentally challenged, but it him being mentally challenged wasn't something that was out of control. Where he would look for trouble with people or um, end up in any type of disagreement with anybody. Um, yeah, Jimmy was a nice person. He really did not deserve this. Street gangs have been embroiled in a long-running turf battle over the past few months and they have apparently been targeting passerby and non-combatants who they perceive as having ties to their sworn enemies. Residents are pleading for an end to the violence. I would like to say like this war that is happening, it needs to stop and um, the community of Beaufort and I think I can speak for all the residents of Beaufort, we are tired of that. And it is not a good thing. It is hurting us. The site of the Thursday night double homicide was the scene of another shooting last week, which left two people hospitalized with gunshot wounds. Since the turn of 2019, through the pandemic years of 2020 and 2021, rival factions armed with semi-automatic weapons have ratcheted up the enmity with brazen, cold and callous shootings. Not even the declaration of an escalated crime status, the deployment of RSS troops or social interventions have been able to rid the contagion of violence that affects the small town. Joachim Duplessis, HTS News Force.